working out of this book, okay? This is a Christmas present to myself, and I'm excited. So this book is, well, socks, and it's different categories, okay? There's animals, flowers, food, the great outdoors, and holidays. And because it's spooky season, we're doing Halloween. Yeah, so these are the I'm Batty for Halloween socks out of this fun book. Now it calls for fingering weight yarn because socks, sock yarn. So I have these two that I picked up at my local store, my local yarn store. Um, I have this black, which is uh, Cascade Yarns Heritage. The color is number 5672. It has 437 yards per 100 grams. And then my background color is this one, also from my local yarn store, which is also locally dyed. Well, to me, anyway. Local to me. It is from Knitted Niceties, and it is the color Pansy Perfection in Wander Sock. Um, and that has 450 yards per 100 grams. So, I think we're gonna do a really good job. I'm gonna have fun. And I need size one needles. I have size one DPNs, but I don't wanna do color work socks on double pointed needles. That doesn't sound like a good idea. So we're gonna do color work socks on Magic Loop, which is why these are 32 inches. Also got these at my local yarn shop. They were a great supplier for me for this project. So let's make some socks. Let me show you what I've got. All right, so I have my yarn in this bag because it's easy. They don't get tangled up in there. And let me open it up here. So I got these at one of my local stores, local yarn stores. Um, this is from Cascade Yarns. I believe this is the Heritage line. And then this one is from a local to me dyer. Um, this is Knitted Niceties. I don't remember what the color was. And the reason why I picked that, this one, was because the orange that they had wasn't, didn't have enough yarn, it wasn't quite big enough. And I was like, okay, well, let's find another one that I like. And I like this one, it has enough yardage. And after I had started the socks, it looks like the bats are flying off into the sunset. <laughs> okay, so I did have to buy new needles because I didn't have the required ones. I didn't have um, size ones, US one. I had them in DPNs, but there was no way in ever I was going to do color work socks on DPNs. No. So I got a 32 inch Chiaogu US1, so I could do Magic Loop, and it's working out great so far. Um, so here's, here's what I've got so far. It's my cuff. Um, this is one repeat of the bat. This is two repeats. So this is two repeats of the bat graph. A slip stitch heel. No, short row. It's a short row heel. I can totally remember that. Um, short row heel, 
And now I'm working on the foot part. I have done half of the back graph <laughs> so far. Um, yeah. I will keep going until one and a half inches from the desired finished length. So that's what I've got going on right now. Um, it's looking pretty good. It's gonna, let's see if we can. Yeah, the bats are flying off into the sunset. I love it. Okay, so. Um, I think it's time to go to the park, play in the leaves, and then we'll get back to stitching. Hi. Hi, baby. Kids are off at school. I am still in my pajamas and sock. <laughs> um, I have a few notes about this. One, I did my cast on just a smidge too tight, um, but that could loosen up over time and it should be just fine. Uh, secondly, I was busy happily knitting away and forgot to trap my long floats. So there's a chance my toes could get caught if I'm not careful with this sock. So I need to remember that for uh, second sock. And third, I have holes in the corners of the um, heel. Hold on a minute. Get it leave there. All right, so see the, the holes in the corner of the heel? Um, I think I can fix that. Yeah, I've got an end right here on this side that I can use to neaten that up. And the other side has a small one too. Oh, hey, I've got an end on both sides that I can use to neaten that up. So that'll be fine. Um, yeah, so I've tried it on so I can see one, how it fits um, and how much more I need to go on the foot, like how many um, bats, rows of bats, because the graph, one go around the graph equals two rows of bats if you do all uh, 22 rows. That gives you two rows of bats. So um, this is two rows of bats after the heel. And I need a few more, um, maybe another go around. Should be fine. Um, go around and a half. I don't know, we'll come up with something. And, but it's turning out great. I'm really excited. I like that it looks like, you know, bats and sunset. Um, so yeah, it is favorite weather outside. It's rainy. <laughs> um, so I'm going to make a cup of tea or some hot chocolate and watch a movie about sparkly vampires because the weather demands it and continue knitting on my bat socks.
excuse the train. <laughs> anyway, that socks are finished. I did remember my notes from first sock. Um, I loosened up the, I didn't do my cast on as tightly for the second sock, so it's, it has a little more stretch. I remembered to catch my long floats that were longer than seven stitches. And what was that it? I think those are the only two things. But I did forget to make sure my floats were nice and loose-ish around the heel. So I do have a little bit of <laughs> trouble getting it over that. But they are stinking cute. I would show you, but I am currently wearing them and standing on them and my my leg doesn't my leg doesn't bend that way <laughs> but it's nice outside tomorrow's Halloween and maybe by the time you see this it is Halloween I don't know but I have leftover yarn of the main color the one that looks like it's either a sunrise or a sunset whichever I, I say sunset um but I want to make some matching socks to the bat socks. Just plain vanilla socks. And I think I'm going to do that. Because socks are fun and they're, they go fast. And I like that. So now, I need to play with the dog. Because she was whining at me a minute ago. So, I'm going to play with the dog in my bat socks and my slippers. Yeah. Life's too short for boring socks.